I'm hoping that this will make me make this video because it keeps cutting me off. I'm lucky enough, I'm not that annoyed that I'll cut it off or whatever. But what's up, niggas and niggas? It's Tina, baby. Holla. Nah, but, um, yeah, it's a nice day outside. It's like 85 degrees. It's feeling as hot as the devil's dick, but at the same time, not really. What the fuck would I know about how the devil's dick is? I don't fucking know. I just like making that reference. But, um, yeah, I just like talking about my day and whatnot. This is, oh, I like my outfit today. It's kind of like tribal wear or whatever. They have a new line called um Twist at Forever 21. And you know, you guys know I work at Forever 21 or whatever. That's my second job that I recently just got. And, um, yeah, I got this to match with it and these earrings that are similar to it. I don't think it was supposed to match with it. Actually, I got it in two different places. The ears I got a Charlotte Roos and a necklace I got Forever 21, so I don't know. But, um, yeah, so, um, let's talk about how lovely my eyebrows is looking right now. And, um, yeah, I used to, um, when I used to get my hair done at the salons or whatever, they used to do my eyebrows there too, but, you know, I don't go to salons anymore. I'm natural. I do my own hair and whatnot. So, I was going to the mall, and they were paying me, like, $12 to do my eyebrows. And one day, I was on the bus, and I happened to pay attention to a nail salon that's, like, two minutes away from my house. And a big old sign talking about $5 for eyebrows. I'm like, what the fuck? How did I not even? What the? So, yeah, popped up in there, and they did my eyebrows the best that it's ever been, actually, in a while. I got a nice arch and everything, and I have thin, I have really thin, like, barely any, um, well, I do, it's like a very long, thin line of, um, ends I got going on, or whatever, but they made it work, baby, mm, yeah, so, yeah, um, I need y'all help, I don't know what the fuck to do, I don't know if y'all remember, my hair seems kind of sunk in on that side, I don't know if y'all remember, but, um, well, the ones who are on Tumblr know about it because I'm always talking about it all the time. I'm trying to go to New York in August. Yes. And um, I don't really get paid that much. I still don't really have any hours. Um, <clears throat> I had about 200 saved up so far. And um, last week. But with the photo blog that I've been doing where I take the pictures every day. Um, I know that this month, the 25th of this month, would be a year since Michael Jackson had passed. So I decided, well, let me buy an outfit that's similar to Michael Jackson or whatever, so I can make a tribute to him for that day. So I happened to see a Michael Jackson jacket that was on point, and some glasses that was on point, and I was like, yo, I'm gonna be beasting on these niggas with this outfit, son. So, um, I had to get it, yo. But I was like, damn, I'm going to be taking some money out of my savings. Um, what money I have saved up. Because I had some in my checking that I was going to use to add to it, but it wasn't enough. So, I was like, damn. I'm like, but at the same time, I would use this money anyways, regardless. Or use some of my money, whether it be from the money I'm saving up or not. So, let me just try it, right? Really regretted it. I went from, like, 189 to 129 And then... I get my checks today, and I and I see a couple of things, you know, working at Forever 21. I see some things that, you know, I want to buy and whatnot, so I'm like, fuck it. You know, I use it where the check that I have the most, whatever job for that week that I have the most money on, I use the most amount of money on whatever check, put that into the savings to save up, and the least amount I use for myself to buy clothes. Because, you know, I need summer clothes. I've lost weight, and I need summer clothes period in general, especially with the fact that, you know, I'm trying to go to New York, and on top of that, I have the camp that I go to the week before where I need shorts and shit like that, because we're going to be in camp, it's going to be, it's going to be like a fucking desert and shit, you know what I mean, so, um, yeah, so then I check my account, and suddenly, I have $77, and I'm like, where my money at, you know, I'm like, what the, what what the hell is going on here? You know what I mean? I already have a saving problem, period. Now, I don't know if y'all know, but I, on top of the fact of me having shitty checks, you know what I mean? I already have a saving problem, saving problems, period. But I've been doing pretty good, but it seems like I switched over to Bank of America. 
I usually had Citizens Bank before. The reason why I switched to Bank of America was because of the fact that Bank of America was on my checks and Citizens Bank didn't want to cash my check unless it was Citizens Bank or something or they didn't want to cash it unless I had the amount in uh, the amount on my check in my account and I never really did. So I decided to go to Bank of America instead where it didn't matter with them because if, if I had Bank of America on my check or whatever and they wanted to cash it, they would take $6 from my check every week because they weren't my bank. So I decided to do that, but it seems like ever since I made them my bank and I've gotten a credit card with them, I keep having with, um, I keep having overdrafts that I have to pay in all of this mess. So yeah, I was really upset by that. So now I'm like, damn. Now I gotta add my money or whatever, whatever I had planned as far as trying to get these couple of outfits or these couple of shoes and, you know, and try to get myself some hair products because I need some hair products. I'm running out of that Echo Style or Gel or whatever um, to even do my damn curls. I'm like, yo, I can't even do that now because I really need to save up. But now I have even less than what I had last week. You know what I mean? Like, Maybe about twenty to thirty dollars less of what I had last week saved up. So I'm kind of mad at myself. This is gonna. This is teaching me now to know not to say, not to dip into my savings if I know I had that saved up because that shit is in my trip is about to be two months from now. So if I keep doing this, I'm gonna have a problem. So what I decided to do was if I decide that whatever check that I want to cash and use. Or whatever, whatever check that I want to use, I'll do that through Citizens Bank as far as cashing or putting in that savings. And whatever I want to save towards New York, I put it in Bank of America so I don't have to worry about, you know, thinking, oh, yeah, this is my amount, this is my available amount, amount or whatever, and me having an overdraft situation. On top of that, I'm thinking I'm paying over my overdrafts as fast as possible, but, it, you know, because it's some my available balance, but the thing is, it was still pending, so I'm thinking, okay, I paid it or whatever, but it was my available balance was still pending. So I still had more overdraft than I thought I did. So yeah, I'm kind of upset with that because I have to keep dealing with this every week. But yeah, they took away my credit card, which is good. It kind of sucks because it's like, I feel like I can't even do online shopping, which, you know, is something I want to get into. Because, you know, there's things online that you like or whatever that you don't see in person you know in person and other stores in person or whatever so I don't know what I'm gonna do but I really want to do this trip and I don't want to postpone it I want to do it in the summer it's bad enough I'm gonna be doing it in late summer summer because people will be college students will be going back to school around that time so I don't even know who I'm gonna wind up chilling with who I plan on chilling with but um yeah it's probably like talking about that um I don't know if y'all have any suggestions as far as my saving problem and what I should do with that or if you've had any problems with Bank of America and want to share some story with me because mm, this is just this is just horrible you know sometimes I feel like I'm not even going to be able to save enough money <clears throat> to be able to go you know what I mean because thank god I'm splitting a hotel with somebody but still it's a lot of money we don't even know what hotel we're staying at because we don't have anybody that we can stay with because I'm going with a friend I'm um, trying to see if maybe I could stay with somebody that I that I do know but more than likely it probably won't happen I don't know so it's still good to still try to keep that in mind as far as saving money for that but you know all those things add up and I'm trying to stay for about a week so I don't really know what's going to happen I already told my jobs they already um have that they already know that I want that time off and hopefully it's gonna stay that way and they don't try to pull some shit on me last minute I don't know cuz I only signed one paper with one job another job I didn't sign other paper oh yeah and on top of that um when I went to go to IHOP today or whatever to look at to get my check and then after I get my check I look at my schedule for the next week um they didn't have the schedule for next week, which was weird because they always do. And then there was a list of people's names who need to see the boss as soon as possible. Well, guess what? My nigga ass name was on the list. And I'm asking around or whatever, and I'm asking another hostess who I work with because I see her name on there. She didn't even know there was a list. Pe most, most of the people didn't even know there was a list. So I don't know what's going on. From what I know, my boss has been telling me I've been doing good. I don't know, somebody snitched on me, lying on me, or something. One of those situations, again, I never seem to fail to, to get into some damn situation where somebody's saying some shit on me and getting my ass fired or something. Um, 
They don't even be all that serious, but they be exaggerating it. Uh, <laughs> exaggerating it or whatnot. But yeah, um, I don't know what to do, y'all. I don't know what that means. And the boss wasn't there, so I couldn't even ask her. I gotta go into work and um, figure that out tomorrow. Because I know she said she was going to be laying people off. So that would be really bad. Because thank God Forever to One has been giving me an extra day now. I don't know what it is for next week. I need to figure out my schedule for next week. But um, I don't know, y'all. I don't know what's really going on right now. That's all I got to say. Because I've been talking too damn much. Like I always do anyway. But y'all enjoy it. So fuck it. Love it. Hate it. Whatever. Peace.